In today's video, guys, we're going over Snapshot 21W07A. There's new blocks. Grimstone, it looks amazing. There are ore updates everywhere, and there's all kinds of cool stuff to go over. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so to get started with today's snapshot video, I'm down in a newer cave, and this is one of the new blocks added to the game. This is Grimstone, and Grimstone looks amazing. It's got like a really sort of heavy feel to it. And with Grimstone comes a lot of Grimstone options. This is what we all look forward to the most anyways. So Grimstone comes with the basic Grimstone block, polished Grimstone, Grimstone bricks, Grimstone tiles, and chiseled Grimstone. This looks like some sort of weird looking chest. I don't know how to say it any other way. <laughs> uh, a Grimstone tile or a Grimstone wall, Grimstone tile wall, Grimstone polished wall, Grimstone wall. Um, and these ones over here, this is a Grimstone brick one. Sorry, I'm labeled that wrong. Um, polished Grimstone. I put wall here too. Wow, I'm really not doing good today. Just imagine that that wall right there says stair. <laughs> okay, uh, Grimstone tile stairs, uh, Grimstone brick stairs, and Grimstone stairs. And then we have slabs as well. So, Grimstone, um, these are Grimstone tiles, Grimstone regular, Grimstone, uh, I'm pretty sure it's polished, and Grimstone brick. So, Grimstone spawns way below the normal generation of stone at the very bottom of the world. We're at negative 38 right now. Uh, and some things to know is that you can also use Grimstone as things for, like, basic crafting, sort of like, uh, basic, uh, stone tools, sort of like Blackstone, um, and regular stone. So, basic tools, furnaces, brewing stands etc so you can use it if you're down below in the cave and you're you know you're running out of things and so you're probably noticing some things on the wall uh that you're not used to seeing and those are the ores guys so moving on to the next part that i wanted to talk about uh in the previous snapshot ore textures and ore generation was the same before the new caves came uh in this version of the snapshot you can see that there are new ore textures and the ore generation has been tweaked to match the world height um so funny thing is is that i cannot get the imager uh page that minecraft linked because i'm pretty sure all the traffic going to it has knocked it down i can't get it to load i'm gonna link it to you in the description and i hope that you can get it to load but in general the uh ores themselves uh they generate much higher and much lower we can go into spectator mode go up just a little bit and kind of see some of these ores in action i'm uh i'm very curious guys what do you think of the new ore textures they uh they they're gonna grow on me i think but uh yeah I, i'm not sure yet i'm not i'm on the fence about it um so let's go ahead and take a look at those in depth so we've got a new coal texture now here's the funny thing that i think about this is i think this coal texture is fantastic and the other ones are mm, the, these two are good i don't really like these two uh the redstone is a little weird looking and the gold one i'm assuming that more accurately represents gold but i don't know um one thing that i would say is that they will probably end up tweaking these a few more times that's sort of what they normally do anyways so i'm not like super torn if it's like you know not changed right away or if it even changes at all it's not really a huge deal um, I, if I had like one thing to request from the devs about ores is that when the ores generates past a certain level down, say like whatever the level is. So I'm assuming it's like it looks like it's like negative five. So anything below, say, negative four, negative five that generates it generates in the grimstone block rather than the regular stone, because while uh, these new caves are like awesome looking <laughs> the ores they stand out and I think it would just be really really cool if it was all very well blended I don't know what do you guys think about that also fossil that's why I picked this area because it looks awesome so the next thing I want to show you with grimstone is the grimstone mine shafts there's some pretty cool changes with these not only with just the aesthetic of the mine shaft like first off it looks really really cool but uh, any time that you actually come across a mine shaft that is in a ravine, there will be chains that uh, support this. Hold on, let me find it. It was just like right here a second ago. These things, it's so hard to navigate sometimes. It's right here. Okay, so there aren't chains in this one, but 
you can see that now oak logs generate underneath of these to support the uh, mineshaft corridors, which is a really, really cool looking change. I like this a lot. This has a lot of fun to it because have you ever found yourself, you know, in a cave mining and then like you're out of wood? And I know obviously if you come across the mine shaft, you have wood, but logs in a mine shaft would be a pretty big change. You'll get a lot of different wood from that. And that's uh, that is a really cool change. I like that one a lot, actually. Now you will eventually see some chains uh, naturally generate, but I have yet to find any type of ravine that actually has that. So some uh, other little minor changes that I want to quickly talk about. Uh, these huge caves that you see, they are going to spawn less now, not as much as they did in the uh, the previous snapshot. Um, another thing that you're going to find is that some of them are going to spawn full of water. Now, I haven't been able to find one that actually spawns full of water. Actually, right over there, probably. Lucky. It was like perfect timing, dude. Are you kidding me? It's kind of laggy, but not totally full of water, but it's a laggy ravine with water nonetheless. All right. So that's uh, a thing. Uh, some other little changes in this snapshot that you'll see is that uh, the size and size and positioning of diorite, andesite, and granite have changed. They look to be larger than before. Um, also, probably spawning below the Y level now is what they mentioned. Um, the exception to this is diorite, granite, and dirt no longer spawn below Y level zero. So that's pretty cool. Um, strongholds are now mostly encased in stone, and I've already talked about the mineshaft corridors. Guys, these caves are outstanding. This is really the first time that I've looked at it. I try to stay away from the snapshots just so it's kind of fresh in my mind when I play it. But look at this, man. Like, imagine swimming through here. Like, that would be so much fun. These caves are, they're pretty awesome, and they've done a great job so far. Um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, like, seeing the actual biomes they come up with um all of that cool stuff so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit the like button and subscribe otherwise i hope you guys all have a great day this is i jevin peace out everybody